Parai is name in uh, in my language uh, of Shona actually means joy, happiness. That's something I can say that Farai's childhood was like, you know, very happy, very energetic. Probably the most energetic kid you can ever meet. My family, we're all from Zimbabwe. My dad actually, he got a scholarship here at MSU. And so he was first here just by himself. And then we all came together as a family in 2006. When we moved here, I was six years old. Flying almost 24 hours from Harare, Zimbabwe to, uh, to Lansing, Michigan. I think the, uh, the common feeling was just excitement. Excitement of a, of, of a different, different country, different opportunities, different, uh, different adventure. My parents, they worked really hard to try to give us the best life possible. In the beginning, it was hard just because we were first generation immigrants. And so we had to kind of forget like what was behind because we had to try to move forward. That was the hardest thing. My mom would always say, this is for the best, you know? And so like, I think we really began to come together as a family. We, we got tighter because we had to especially the fact that there's no other family here in the USA that has their last name. I have not seen my parents face to face in about five years. They left in January of 2013. My parents got the opportunity to go back to Zimbabwe to kind of do a, a few projects that they had been working with the MSU. So it was a great opportunity for them. They had started a, a partnership between Zimbabwean colleges and Michigan State. So they wanted to facilitate an exchange of resources, exchange of professors, exchange of students uh, between the, the two colleges. So through this partnership, in order to, to make it more successful, it required uh, them going back to Zimbabwe. The plan was to go back and also at the same time renew their visas. We did not expect them to be gone um, for as long as they are now. Um, we thought this was temporary. I was younger too, I was a little naive on what the situation really was. But it, I was just hoping, you know, it's like a little vacation, they'll be back soon. But it wasn't the case. So. At that time, I was just out of college. Uh, I was working and it was, uh, it was more of, hey, this is now our responsibility to take care of ourselves. The months went by and um, as they kept on trying, it just seemed like it wasn't going to work out. So we kind of carried on and uh, tried to find ways to, to still continue chasing our dreams. I was 13 years old and this was the year before high school, and so I was in eighth grade. And, you know, 13 years old, especially as a boy, that's a time when you really begin to, like, spend time with your dad, you know, because he really begins to teach you certain things on how to become a man and what that looks like in high school. And, um, and so I, I felt like I had, like, a lot of responsibility um, at a young age to, to be there for my little sister. Um, and to also to support my brother, who was Trinity, who was at that time working two jobs just to, to take care of us. He became a father figure to me. He was also a brother, was our number one fans in, uh, and on the soccer field, provided us meals. And he was doing that when he was like 24 years old. And that's a lot of responsibility. Coming back to America is not easy, especially with um, everything that's going on with immigration, so it's, um, it's just hard to, to really secure a visa here. Um, 
and to find citizenship, it's not as easy as I feel like most people think it is. So, um, but yeah, they're still working on it. They're doing well. They miss us a lot. Obviously, we miss them a lot. We we try to call and um, FaceTime um, if we can. Hey, shalom, mommy. Nice to meet you. Hey, I received life. I received life. <laughs> oh, what time is it over there? Yeah, because uh, it's it's like what time is it now? It's like uh, 5:30 p.m. 5:30. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, it's getting it's getting dark. Ah. Uh, ah, you know, just living life, enjoying life, enjoying life. Uh, too cool, yeah, too cool. What do you mean, too cool, mommy? <laughs> <laughs> mommy, hey, you, you put on the sunglasses. I like it. Uh huh? <laughs> oh, oh, hold, oh, hold on, but I, okay. I lost my video. Okay. It's okay, no worries. Who are you playing with this coming weekend? This weekend? Um, this weekend we play um, Indiana. It's gonna be it's gonna be home. Oh my word! Under the floodlights? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be 3 p.m. So we'll see. <laughs> Mommy, hey, That's so the we. That's only thing I miss. Oh uh, yeah. Mm. That's the only thing I miss. I. Mm. Ah, if there is anything that I miss, I miss. Mm. Yeah, just being there for you. Just being uh. there. I see. Yeah, and just going, fly! <laughs> <laughs> fly! All right, so are you, you said you are ready. As long as you are ready, mm -hmm. spiritually, emotionally, mm -hmm. and keep smiling, you know. The yeah. joy of the Lord is my strength. Mm. The one thing that my mom would always do when we called her was she'd pray. She'd pray with us, pray together. When you begin to understand who you truly are, where your worth actually comes from, you begin to have a different outlook, even on the, the darkest moments and the darkness that's in the world. As I grew in my faith in, in Christ, I really began to feel closer to them in a way because I knew that the same God that was with them was with us too. Soccer became a place where I could let go of everything else that's going on. And whether that's your skills, scoring goals, whatever it may be, soccer became that, that haven for me. Every time I thought about playing college soccer, I would see myself in the green and white. And so it was definitely been a dream of mine to play here. I really made my decision to come here because of the family aspect of MSU. That's why I felt so comfortable saying yes to Michigan State because I knew that I was close to home. I knew that I would be with family. My family would come watch my games, but also things that I believe in, things that I value, they would be there. I think a big part of me is just grateful. Grateful for the opportunity. Grateful as a brother to see him at this, at this stage, to see him following his dreams. Michigan State has led, has been such a great community that have brought you up to mm. become who you have become. Each time I think of you and what you've become, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, that's I, good, I can man. only say Michigan State. Wow. Go Spartan, go Spartan, go! <laughs> <laughs> it has been a, a long journey. Michigan State gave us an opportunity. An opportunity for, for us to, to have a, uh, a better life or to be able to pursue our dreams um, without any limitations. I mean, him playing for, for Michigan State and representing Michigan State 
I would say it's somewhat also giving back. Uh, it's also a, uh, an appreciation for the school for giving us the whole family an opportunity. Every time I step on the field or in the classroom, I feel like I gotta give everything that I have. I don't ever want to feel like there was more that I could have gave. And so that, that's, that's what drives me, Dri seeing my, where my family is and seeing where my family came from um, and how far we've come. It, it makes me want to give everything that I have, uh, my heart, my mind, and my soul into everything I do.